Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here and in this video, we are going to see how you can deploy your Next.js applications to Cloudflare. Yes, I said Cloudflare, which is pretty interesting because a lot of people are used to deploying their Next.js applications on Vercel. So there's, there are new developments in Cloudflare recently that I decided to create a new video on it. And one of them is deploying your Next.js application to Cloudflare using Open Next. Now, this is not a very clean deployment there is a little bit of confusion here and there but i'll try to explain you the best how the, everything works if you are a complete beginner in next years rest assured i'll explain you everything what we are going to do so first of all we are going to need to cover the basics on how Vercel and cloudflare works all right so first of all let's talk about next years so next years supports to two runtimes so two runtimes are actually the node.js runtime and the edge runtime there are similarities both run javascript edge is a more lightweight version as far as i know so it's better to use in uh, serverless functions uh, i think the people also call them lambda functions or something like that so uh, that's the best way that's the best runtime to run on those and node.js is like full flesh thing so Vercel runs node.js uh, runtime Vercel runs node.js runtime and cloudflare runs edge runtime so previously what used to happen to deploy next uh, js applications on cloudflare you need to use the edge runtime to deploy on cloudflare and if you use node.js it simply won't work and uh, there would be a lot of things breaking because not a lot of Node.js APIs are compatible in Edge because it's a pretty lightweight version of, uh, uh, it's a pretty lightweight version. So not a lot of APIs are available. But recently what has happened is that uh, Open Next, uh, which basically is has the aim of uh, uh, making sure that Next.js deploys everywhere. Uh, they have this motive of actually uh, removing the vendor lock-in. I don't have any opinion of it. this. Uh, they want to remove the vendor locking from Vercel and enable Next.js to deploy everywhere without any problems. So that's the aim. So what they did is they uh, created compatibility. I cannot type today. Uh, for Node.js on Cloudflare. So before, uh, if you wanted to use Cloudflare to, uh, if you wanted to use Cloudflare for your Next.js application, you had to use Cloudflare pages, which was basically uh, Edge runtime and it was pretty much straightforward. But now if you want to use a Node.js runtime, which is not exactly a Node.js runtime, I will explain you why, you need to use Cloudflare workers. And uh, this Node.js runtime is not exactly Node.js runtime because something like, called as Wrangler, which is a Cloudflare tool uh, is actually uh, making sure that the packages you use on Node.js uh, they can be used in Azure runtime. So there are still some issues like uh, some issues like FS package cannot work and many more something like that and uh, yeah it's, it's still a mess but uh, it has given uh, they have cloudflare has given you ways to try out the edge runtime on your local device before deploying it so i think it's a good way i think alternatives are good i think this is a little bit too complicated but my opinion it doesn't matter and uh, <laughs> alternatives are really good and uh, i think we should proceed on with the video on the documentation before we move on i wanted to let you know that this deployment is not free because apparently cloudflare workers only support a worker which is less than one mb and i tried a minimal next.js application which goes well with beyond one mb so i had to get the paid plan which is like five dollars a month plus charges if you hit the limits but uh yeah this is five dollars per month for all the next.js applications you have deployed on cloudflare as long as you are staying within the limits uh, if you are uh, going beyond the limits, you have to pay the charges, but 
the deployment is not free so if you're looking for free deployment you might want to close this video or if you know something which i'm missing if you think i'm wrong go ahead feel free to let me know in the comment section because i already have lost five dollars on this video <laughs> anyways so let's go back and uh i'm going to show you the documentation all right so we are at the open next documentation the same documentation is also available in cloudflare documentation somewhere i had seen it but i think uh with whatever works it's the same basically the same thing copied and pasted over so the best way is for you to like just go ahead and create a next year's application using the cloudflare cli but i'm going to assume that most of you people have already have an extra application that you want to deploy on cloudflare and want to test something some stuff out uh, for that i'm just going to use the existing next year's app path you can do this but it's pretty easy and it's not worth covering in a tutorial so that's why i'm not doing that there are a few things we need to change here also so that it works properly and uh yeah if you're using this command make sure you don't enter these two things these two dashes or uh it won't use the experimental flag uh and uh basically it will still use the old deployment version which used to deploy on pages and used to use the edge runtime so uh, don't use this and uh yeah the documentation needs a lot of updating not a lot of updating but still updating that can fix a lot of different things for users so yeah uh or this might be done on pro progress i might be a little dumb so yeah now we need to actually have an xjs application for this so i am going to bring in a terminal so uh, let me bring this here perfect let me reduce the size so that it's more readable and now i'm going to create a new xjs application so bun x create next tab and i'm gonna call it cf yt i'm just gonna leave everything to default basically everything what we use in a typical next is application so yeah uh, cf yt and here we need to install a few things so first of all bun install uh, developer dependencies at open next slash cloud uh, okay open next js slash cloudflare and then we need to use wrangler latest and uh, if you look at the docs it's the same thing first you install open next cloudflare and you install wrangler we're just doing it in, sing in a single command and from now a lot of things are just copy pasting so yeah let's let's just install this and then we are also going to create a new file here so let's wait for this and uh, do, let's go to uh, create a new file touch uh, wrangler dot toml uh, make sure you do not uh, mistype this because it's a configuration file and uh, this file is referenced later when uh, you're actually trying to build your next.js application using workers so yeah now let's open a code editor i'm using cursor nowadays i really like it so if you're using visual studio code the command is code dot let me bring in the vs code window here perfect let me just go ahead and put it in a different desktop so that it's easier for us to copy paste and we just need to paste in these things here uh wrangler.toml okay so i don't have the formatting here but that doesn't really matter one thing which we need to change here and they haven't mentioned is that the experimental assets these don't work i have tried a lot these don't work so what happens if you use experimental assets here it would uh, build your next application but as soon as you load it it's going to be just 404 everywhere it's like your assets your uh, js uh, your js bundles your photos and all of those assets css files won't get loaded they will just give you 404 and that's because and then experimental assets flag does not even exist i don't know why they had there maybe i'm doing something wrong i'm well above the version that they mentioned in the article but if you just leave it to assets it's going to work so yeah we're just gonna just save this here and then we are just gonna go down and uh then we need to have these things in package.json so that we can play around with the edge runtime so yeah okay let's go over each of these build just going to use the next build command and make sure that uh, the worker file is created and uh, every, all the patches are done, like all the Node.js things are being patched to run on the Edge runtime. And then dev worker actually runs a development server on the worker we just created. 
Preview worker does both of these things. It builds and runs the development server. Deploy worker just builds and deploys. Wrangler, it uses Wrangler CLI. So Wrangler CLI is basically a Cloudflare thing. Uh, it does a lot of different things. Uh, mm. I think you should consider it more like a GitHub CLI. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, whenever you run the Wrangler CLI, uh, for most of the stuff, you need to log into your Cloudflare account. I have already did that, so it won't ask you to log in, but just keep that in mind that uh, you need to be logged in in your uh, Cloudflare account in the browser. Make, make that process a little bit easier for you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's just explain everything here uh, in pretty detail. I will leave this link to the article in the description below just for you. And now we're going to add caching. So if you don't follow Next.js that much, Next.js cache is a lot of stuff. And if you are deploying this to worker, we do not have a straightforward way to caching it by default. So it uses workers KV, which is a key value pair of uh, key value pair cache. This is a very fast caching method and it, uh, you can use this, uh, in, and, uh, use this for caching in your next application. Uh, yeah. So let's try this out. I was out of words there. Uh, we are not using NPX. So I'm just going to copy this command. Just go to the terminal and now we are going to do bun X paste this here and yeah before we hit enter i actually want to go into wrangler.toml make sure that the name is unique like if you already have a kv pair kv store made using this name you and you, you cannot make a new one so uh, i'm just going to say it's cfyt because this is a unique name in respect to my cloudflare account i'm just going to hit enter and this is going to do its thing and it's going to give us a configuration to copy paste. So let's wait for this. Perfect. Now I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste this. Perfect. And now, yeah, uh, we can move on and remove Cloudflare next on pages if necessary. So if you were using the previous uh, edge runtime version of Next.js on Cloudflare, this is the section for you, but we are not really using that. So yeah. We are basically ready to deploy, but before we deploy, I actually want to show you that we can build and preview this. So bun run uh, preview worker. So this actually builds and runs the uh, next year's application as if it was running on the edge runtime with the Node.js com compatibility. So yeah, remember that not all of those things will work. Some of the Node.js APIs you use might break here. So if you are someone who is like going deep into the Node.js API using some stuff, which Edge hasn't implemented yet, you might want to stick to Vercel or like self-host this thing. So yeah, it says done. I'm just going to press B to open this in browser and we can just see. Yeah, it's the basic Next.js uh, homepage and they updated the page, which is pretty clean now. All right. Uh, Let's go ahead and do deploy command now. So by the way, you can just do bun dev and you can just uh, use the node.js whenever you use the bun dev command or npm run dev, which is like the normal development of next.js command. It's going to use the node.js API. So make sure that whenever you, like you can go ahead and use the node.js API for standard things. But uh, before you actually go ahead and push some changes, uh, make sure that you test all of those out using the worker environment and uh, you might like you uh, you might see an issue here and there you can fix them so yeah now let's go and deploy so bun run deploy worker and now this is going to build again and it's going to use wrangler deploy and it's going to automatically deploy this worker to my cloudflare account so let's wait for this to finish should not take a lot of time. I just my laptop is getting a little slow because I am recording a video. Maybe it's time for a new laptop. <laughs> okay. So building list of assets, starting asset upload. I hope this is fast. I have an ethernet connector. I have, I have an ethernet connection connected. Yeah. So as you can see, the gzip size is 1552 to KB, which is well over 1000 KB and it's going to cry if you use the cloudflare free free plan so make sure you are on the paid plan before you do this 
because it's just not gonna work but yeah if you don't have a paid plan if you just want to test on if it will work on your workers environment you can simply use the commands in your package.json file all right so this is deployed uh, hopefully this works i'm just gonna copy paste this here yeah it works perfect yeah it works now let's go to cloudflare dashboard so i'm gonna go to cloudflare login the dashboard is loading all righty this is a bit slow for me and now let's go to workers and pages yeah i had tested out this before and multiple tries have been failed but the cfyt is the one which we did just now uh, you can get the url here in the settings but what we can do is assign a custom url so custom subdomain i can go ahead and click add and create a custom domain i can just say cfyt.atharva.codes to do this by the way you need to have your domain configured inside of cloudflare so for me i purchased my domain on namecheap and i changed the name servers to cloudflare so i generally do that because the dns propagations are very fast uh, because unlike in namecheap when i change my dns records it takes a lot of time but in cloudflare it is instantaneous i don't know why but uh, i generally use this cloudflare for all of that and uh, it's pretty seamless this video is not sponsored by cloudflare but they make it like pretty easy they fetch all the current records you have in dns they automatically apply it so that you don't need to add them again and again so yeah cfitrsubber.codes let's see what it does it says cloudflare will add the following dns records perfect it is done it's it also generates the ssl certificate for you so you don't need to man tickle with like the dns records yourself just go ahead and add this here it's way more easier than doing all of that uh, i don't know if it's here already but uh, let's try it out yeah it's here perfect so yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys learned something new and i hope that you might use cloudflare to deploy your next js applications as an alternative to versal so yeah uh, if you have any questions if you have any suggestions related to the content on this channel make sure you go to the comment section and uh, let me know i'm open to any suggestions because i'm looking for content ideas to create on this channel so any ideas would be highly appreciated other than that if you feel that i have provided you value in this video make sure go ahead and uh, you like the video subscribe to the channel and share this video to your friends so that you can support me in my youtube journey so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye